The film White Noise was released on Netflix in September of last year. It's about a train crashing, exploding, and burning toxic chemicals off into the atmosphere, creating a major health hazard for miles around. Reflecting what just happened a few weeks ago in Ohio, White Noise was even filmed in the same area, just a few miles from Ground Zero in East Palestine. Some people will call this a coincidence, but these days, believing in coincidence can cost you your life. And there is more. Just three months before the train wreck, the city of East Palestine began adopting the My ID digital bracelet system into their local emergency services. Being touted as the ultimate ID system, My ID is a digital ID company dealing primarily with digital ID bracelets for the medical industry. Bracelets designed to make it easier for first responders to access your medical profile in the event of an unexpected emergency. And just a week before the crash, they began handing these bracelets out to all the residents of East Palestine. Also, two weeks before the crash, the CDC updated their page on vinyl chloride, removing their section on how it affects children and raising the safe exposure threshold. Neil Donald Walsh wrote, there are no coincidences in the universe, only convergences of will, intent, and experience. Not only does the Ohio train crash appear to be a deliberate attack, it appears to potentially be a very deadly attack. Three days after the train wreck, authorities called for a controlled release burn. Controlled in that they would initiate the spark that will burn all the chemicals and cargo together in a massive chemical fire, potentially putting millions of people's lives at risk. The vinyl chloride spill at Camp Lejeune was small in comparison to what happened this month in Ohio, but it still poisoned over a million people and it took decades for the effects to materialize. A new federal lawsuit against Norfolk Southern alleges that 1.1 million pounds of vinyl chloride was spilled into the local environment. The vinyl chloride metabolite chloroethylene oxide attacks human DNA and can take years to start showing up as cancers and other disease. There is arguably no safe dose for exposure. Leading expert in the study of vinyl chloride, Dr. Julianne Baer, agrees and says that nobody should be drinking the local water. According to Dr. Baer, vinyl chloride gets transported into homes via the groundwater. She says it comes out of the water, into the air, and that's really the major route of toxicity for the liver. It comes through the air. While some argue that burning it resolved these issues, that seems to be false. Dioxins are the deadly toxins behind Agent Orange and DDT. They are generated when chlorinated chemicals, like vinyl chloride, burn. In fact, the exact reaction that happened in East Palestine when they decided to burn vinyl chloride and PVC pellets together was arguably the most efficient and deadly way of dispersing dioxins into the environment and could equate to being one of the biggest chemical weapons attacks in history. Some are saying that tens of millions of lives could now be at risk. And that number will keep growing so long as humanity dismisses these attacks as coincidence and continues to do nothing. Reporting for InfoWars, this is Greg Reese.